She was a bit of an exhibitionist, he knew. She'd told him how she liked to go outside and dance in torrential rain, wearing nothing but jeans and a white t-shirt. She said she only did this in the dark, but she lived in an apartment building, and Greg deduced there was always the chance that she could run into a fellow occupant in the stairwell at the door on the sidewalk. He could picture her in such a scenario, smiling innocently as her clearly visible nipples pointed like spears through the drenched fabric. When he'd asked if this had ever happened, Clara had just laughed. It was an attraction Greg, in his characteristic shyness, couldn't imagine. He glanced sideways at her as they strolled up the sidewalk to the party. Clara's exhibitionist tendencies often showed in the way she dressed, downpour or no. Her dress tonight was a short, form-fitting halter style, neon yellow with swirls of bright pink and silver glitter. He had watched her put it on, and it was enough to make him hard. She seemed to get off on the very act of dressing itself, sliding stockings up thighs, smoothing fabric over breasts, grinding the zipper of a knee-high boot. He followed Clara through the door to the animated party scene beyond. Chip, a friend of Clara's Greg had met before, was already seated on the couch. Chip exhibited a gregariousness in animation similar to Clara's, and as the two of them spoke now, their conversation naturally coalesced into the focal point of the room. Chip's eyes raked over Clara as she accepted a compliment about her dress. It looks like a stripper dress, he said. Planning to put on a show tonight? No, Clara laughed as she lifted her drink to her lips. Ah, uh, come on, why don't you give your date a lap dance? Chip gave a wolfish grin and Greg almost jumped at the unexpected reference to himself. Clara sent Chip a chastising glare, which Greg suspected was for his own benefit. The suggestion his, his, the suggestion itself, he guessed, was probably not out of the ordinary. Yeah, he suddenly heard himself say. Why don't you? Clara turned to him with unconcealed surprise. It was understandable. This was way not his style, and he himself wasn't sure what was motivating him. Chip took matters into his own hands and rushed to the stereo where one of Clara's favorite songs soon burst from the speakers. Greg had a feeling Chip was familiar with how much Clara loved that particular song and what she loved to do to it. But it was his lap she was going to be on, not Chip's. Clara straddled him, her breath warm against his cheek as she ground her pelvis against him. He felt her feet brace against the chair before she leaned back, her hair brushing the floor as her lithe body draped over his knees. As she rose gracefully back up to face him, he slid a hand to the strap behind her neck and whispered, let's take this off now. For some reason, he reveled in the way her mouth fell slightly open, her beautiful eyes disbelieving as they looked into his. His skin burned as he slipped a finger beneath the tie of her dress and began to undo it. Clara offered no resistance. The halter straps slid loose and dropped. A collective intake of breath joined the music in the room. Clara stood and twirled, landing on his lap in reverse cowgirl position. Greg looked up and met Chip's eyes, and self-consciousness was momentarily subverted by a surge of satisfaction. He suspected Chip had made the suggestion provocatively, never expecting Greg to concur. Clara held her long curls atop her head as, as the song ended, turning her profile to Greg over her shoulder. He forgot about their audience as she met his eyes, the unabashed unabashed mischief in her blue gaze sparking his own breathless and unfamiliar spontaneity. Her energy was electric, and he sensed it coming from deep within her, emanating out rather than the other way around. For the first time, Greg understand, understood that energy, the sincere, vibrant love of every inch of potential her body held. The same impulse sizzled forward in him, fueling the urgency to pull every stitch she wore off of her with the same focus and attention she had used to put, to put it on. Clara gave a startled shriek as Greg stood and swept her from her feet in one motion. Time to go, he said. You're leaving, you just got here. The voice was Chip's. Greg looked down at him as Clara's warm arms came around his neck. I imagine in my position you'd be pretty eager to get her home too. The giggling crowd began to part as Clara, still topless, waved and blew a kiss. Thanks for the suggestion, buddy. Greg gave Chip a nod without malice and carried Clara out the door. Thank you.